Looking to reboot the relationship between the United States and Egypt, President Trump hosted Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el Sisi at the White House yesterday. El Sisi rose to power after a military coup in 2013, had never been invited to Washington by the previous administration out of concerns over the human rights record in the country. But it was a new day at the White House with military and economic ties taking the lead. I just want to let everybody know, in case there was any doubt, that we are very much behind President el-Sisi. He's done a fantastic job in a very difficult situation. We are very much behind Egypt and the people of Egypt. Joining us now is the Egyptian Minister of Investment and International Cooperation, Dr. Sahar Nasser. Uh, Dr. Nasser, good to see you. You were at this meeting at, at the White House. What came out of it? What's yeah. new? Um, I think it was a historical meeting, and um, what's new is that the U.S.-Egypt relationship is back. Uh, we are strategic partners, and I think we have a lot in common, and that was the main message that was transmitted from both leaders yesterday. Well, let's talk uh, specifically about, well, first, in, 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 milita in, in military help, is Egypt going to step up and help us fight the Islamic State, given the military aid that we give to Egypt every year, which is roughly $1.3 billion? I think it's very important to highlight here that the two nations have uh, a lot of common interest, and, and I think the two governments also have the uh, same objective. We're, we're both a nation and government. We're there. To, to defeat terrorism, and I think that's something that we all agree. We're, we're, we're aiming at achieving security and stability in, in not only in Egypt, but across the world. That's the key, key challenge that we are facing, and we're, we're there to, to fight it together. Dr. Nasser, there is, there's been some reporting on potential reductions in aid to Egypt with uh, certainly the State Department looking at budget cuts. Did those potential cuts come up at all? Uh, I think that the way we look at it is, is actually a package of, uh, of uh, partnership and, and support, economic support. We look at it that we're here to promote investments. We're very keen mm -hmm. on having the U.S. companies invest in Egypt. We have moved forward with major uh, legislative and uh, legal reforms as well as institutional. So that's how we see it. In terms of economic support and economic mm -hmm. assistance, we, what we're, we're, we're negotiating and we're discussing is how can this assistance package with the legal and regulatory reform support more uh, private sector participation. That's the ultimate objective and that's the sustainability that we're trying to really achieve for our country. Dr. Nasser, what do you make of the criticism that human rights, that human rights um, abuses in Egypt took a back seat during this official visit. We have there are five senators who are planning to introduce a resolution to ease, uh, urging Egypt to ease the repression of dissent. And they really wanted President Trump to push for the release of political prisoners as well. It's very important here to highlight and uh, look at issues uh, within perspective. I think it is very important to acknowledge that now we have a parliament that, that is really watching and, and taking into account the checks and balances. We also have a constitution that does highlight and flag human rights issues and, and uh, as a member of the government we're very much committed to human rights issues and, and mm -hmm. I look for example on, on women's empowerment and not only that we have four ministers in charge of a large portfolio but we, we're, it's unprecedented that we have 15 percent of the parliament mm -hmm. represented by women that do uh, seek and, and push forward human rights issues. We're committed for that. Uh, on all fronts. Um, that's how I really see the situation. There's sometimes misperceptions mm -hmm. about that issue, and I think that's one thing that we are also consulting and discussing with the, with the civil society, mm -hmm. with the private sector, with the think tanks, and we want to make sure that our message is there clear and loud, that we are there to committed to support human rights issues. Dr. Sahar Nasser, Dr. Nasser, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much.